testing, one million, two million, three million. <laughs> well, you can always hear that anyway. It, uh, uh, you know, I, when I came down today, it's been, it's been 50, uh, 54 years since I drove down uh, what was then the Highway 6, the Cornhusker Highway, to uh, come to Lincoln to school. And even then, there was a lot of nostalgia attached with it because my father had uh, uh, attended the University of Nebraska in the 1920s. Uh, he was editor of the Daily Nebraskan, and one day a, a young woman from West Point, a uh, student, came in to apply for a job as a reporter on the Daily Nebraskan, and, uh, and uh, my father not only hired her as a reporter, but he married her shortly thereafter. So both my parents attended here. My grandfather uh, on my mother's side was here in the, in the 1890s. And, uh, uh, so a lot of good things have happened to me because of the University of Nebraska. I, I received a terrific education here. Uh, I was telling the dean um, the most valuable thing I learned here, but I learned a lot, but the most valuable was, was uh, accounting, and we had a wonderful professor named Ray Dean. Uh, there may even be something named for him down here, isn't there? Yeah, I, I mean, he, he was, uh, I'd been to the Wharton School, I went to Columbia Graduate School uh, subsequently, but, and I took a lot of accounting courses, but by far the best instruction I received in accounting came from Ray Dean, and, and uh, there's nothing more important. I, uh, people ask me what they should take in business school, and, 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 uh, uh, or even if they don't go to business school, what they need to know before getting in business, and I tell them, you know, you have to, you have to understand accounting. It's the language. I mean, it, it, it would be, it's like being in a foreign country without knowing the language if you're in business and you don't understand accounting. So it, 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 you, you want to get as comfortable with that uh, as you are with the English language. It, it, it's made me uh, uh, a lot of money because I, I listened to what Ray Dean had to say 53 or 4 years ago and have been able to understand uh, what I was seeing on pieces of paper, what that told me about businesses and the limitations of what it told me about businesses. I mean, I, but that's the way we invest. Uh, yesterday I was in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we bought a company, we agreed to buy a company called Clayton Homes about a week ago. It's a big company in the manufactured home business. So we agreed to pay $1.7 billion for it. I made that deal over the phone without ever meeting the people there, but I had seen enough through reading 10Ks, 10Qs, annual reports, but looking at figures what they tell me in terms of the kind of people even running the place, the kind of accounting decisions they make and so on, I was able to make that $1.7 billion transactions over the phone. Yesterday was the first time I met the people and their board of directors had actually approved the deal a week earlier. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, I couldn't have done that if I hadn't have, uh, you know, uh, had a great time at Ray Dean's class 53 years ago. So if I'm, if I'm going to tout one thing, aside from this particular leadership class, of course, uh, if I'm going to tout one thing, uh, I, I, would, I, would, I would tell you that uh, get comfortable with it. You know, it, 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 uh, it may not happen the first week or the first month in the class, but, but get very comfortable with accounting. So that I run into CEOs periodically uh, who really don't understand it. You know, they try to bluff their way through and uh, you can just see, you can see in their faces, they're frightened almost when they, somebody hands them a, a balance sheet or an income statement. They really don't know what it means and they have to count on somebody else. And that's something you shouldn't count on. We make all our acquisition decisions ourselves. I mean, we don't call in consultants or anybody. We don't call in investment bankers, much to their disgust. Uh, no investment banking fees in the Clayton Holmes deal. Uh, because, you know, it's my responsibility running Berkshire to understand enough about our acquisition decisions uh, to make them uh, based on the numbers that I see and, and, and what I see there.